hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss the topic think like a researcher or characteristics of a researcher as i've already discussed the basic concepts in intro to research methodology so one of the important topic is the qualities of a researcher so what should be qualities or the characteristics of a researcher the first one is good observation a keen observer a researcher should be a good and keen observer so observation is obviously very important in research and it is the first step as i've already discussed in a research process it is the first step observation right you make observation in your around you right using your senses and your experience so that you can identify a research problem so you can only identify research problem by using your observation so a researcher must have keen observation and second one is critical thinking obviously critical thinking or research is uh, you know a very technical aspect of study or in education so everyone cannot cannot do research right so it required we will discuss skills obviously and critical thinking of a researcher right so there should be the researcher should be a, a critical thinker and how this is critical thinking is developed by deep knowledge so a researcher have to study a lot right going through different literature for conduction of his research and he has to come up with the creative ideas new ideas new knowledge that he want to add in a specific in a particular field of study so for that purpose obviously your critical thinking is required in formulation of your research problem so research it's all a creative process right and uh, as i already told you you have to heed pay heed to this subject it is not about cramming the concept are very important you have to clear your concepts in this uh, research methodology and it will obviously will help you in your research or in your thesis that you will be conducting in your final semester and um, if you uh, if you opt for pros postgraduate studies obviously you have to come up with a research proposal right so so just prepare yourself for that so critical thinking deep knowledge of researcher is very important and next quality is impartial or objectivity a researcher should be objective and impartial as i've already told you research is a systematic and order process so there are no personal likes and dislikes of researcher whatever you say in research there must be proof for that you cannot just discuss your own opinions in research right like you do in your uh, personal writings or narratives right or things like that and creative obviously critical thinking creative process innovative <coughs> because it adds something new to already existing knowledge so creativity and a researcher should be must be a creative or innovative person next quality is uh, good reading skills obviously a researcher has to go through literature review so he had to read a lot right to discover the areas or finding gap in any research or to find the researchability of topic or selecting a research problem you have to you have to make a good reading or going through literature review so good reading habits right deep knowledge uh, or updated knowledge right this is required for a researcher and then there is determination consistency or the right frame of mind so research as i already told you it is not an easy task it's a laborious process right and uh, it demands determination consistency and right frame of mind so our researcher is it's a very boring thing we may say right laborious thing so you have to yeah you have to be consistent 
and obviously obviously once you set for your research it seems like that you you just give up right in every moment because you will not find the right direction or the right frame of mind so right frame of mind is very important in a research when you when you you will practically do you will understand this concept or this uh, very clearly right after after writing your synopsis when you yourself write your synopsis or going through all these processes your concepts get clear right because you have personally experienced all of these things and it's a very headache process oh god uh, obviously very headache process of writing and once uh, a research research is very lengthy right full research is or oh, something very lengthy length of a book right a very lengthy book but uh, we we were assigned a synopsis right of very few pages even 12 to 15 or uh, right and and that simple and small activity it's a very very laborious thing or headache thing right you you do not have idea what to do how to do and in every step you seem like you just give up so determination consistency is very important quality of a researcher and next thing is patience right don't be hasty so research is not a hasty process right patience is required in a research so as i already told you it took me 20 days to write a synopsis right and even 15 days to to frame the or formulate my research problem right so patience is required you cannot it's it's not an overnight job or overnight work to do you have to invest time in it right it's not a hasty process you have to invest time and energy and resources and then this thing is done properly otherwise it cannot and it should have interest yes obviously you you if you are not interested or do not have passion about anything then obviously you cannot work or do anything in that area uh, so I'll, I'll be just discussing my own experience with you guys right to relate things better so once a uh, synopsis was assigned to us so we must go for our interest so things get very easier right for example I choose the interest or of my interest topic of my interest or my passion right as i was curious to to discover about my own native language mother tongue which is spoken in uh, gilgit baltistan right in very few districts though it is spoken in uh, the speakers are very less right but uh, the language is very amazing so it fascinates me right i have interest and passion to study about it and explore more and more so i just just um, decided to work on that right so i will discuss with you guys as well uh, about my synopsis right how i write that so there is a separate there will be separate video on uh, research synopsis i will show you right so passion and interest is very uh, important so that it motivates you to work on it gives you motivation to work on that and things get easier if if you choose the uh, area of your interest or the thing uh, that you are passionate about and it become very easier for you to present your idea as well as you have to give a presentation as well so that you cannot get stuck if you choose uh, a topic of your interest and then obviously knowledge and intellect of uh, researcher is important motivation and energetic yes um, a researcher should be motivated and energetic and skills obviously skills are required it's a technical subject <coughs> so technical uh, skills are required it skills you have to use computer internet researches so search skills research skills 
and a researcher should have right frame of mind he should have targeted and focus and concentration that is very important so as research is very concise step by step or focus or systematic and control thing right control process or phenomena so you have to you have to you have to maintain that focus in your research and next quality is accuracy in terms of collection of data and good communication skills you have to deliver right you have to communicate with different uh, people to gather data so you must have an amazing communication skills and apart from that understanding concept and constructs of research so i, I will discuss concept and construct what they are in your research right so concepts related to problem right these are the technical perspectives and researchers should be orderly and research ethics are there right and then originality of your idea is very important genuine content time management skills academic language use of academic writing right? research is something that is academic so academic writing is very important writing skills of researcher you have to follow research ethics and research ethic is a broad and very important uh, topic to be discussed in separately right and uh, we will discuss research ethics as well that is the next topic and i will discuss it thank you for watching